Hi, Hiram here. I'm going to do a quick boil test on this Trangia Triangle. This is a, a little kit that I got. It was a package deal that I got off eBay. Uh, wanted to do this today. Now, in the past, you've seen me do reviews on other Trangia pot stands. This is one put out by uh, Espit. It's actually made for the Espit stove or to, to burn the Espit fuel as a disc. But it's also made so that you can fit a mini Trangia in it. Now one of the problems with this one is if you're going to use the simmering it's really got no room for the simmering to go to. But that's the Espit stand. If you look up in my videos you'll see the uh, test that I did on these. Also comes with a little package. Another one I did is the click stand. This is one that's made. It looks very much like the uh, triangle as you'll see today, except this one's a bit preformed and it has a uh, metal, yeah, metal there, it's all metal. It has a different kind of a holder for the Trangia. It fits in just like that. This one does have plenty of room to use the simmering on it. This one also comes with a windscreen that goes around it like so, which is pretty nice. Again, you can find videos that I've done on this. Now the one that I'm playing with today is the triangle. Comes in a package that's about five and three eighths inch wide, about six and a half inches tall, some sort of, I'm not sure, nylon or whatever. Inside are four pieces of the stand. Now this is a newer version. They used to make these round that the uh, where the Trangia gets held in there. But now they're making them square shaped. Maybe that's cheaper for making them or something. I'm not sure. So the Trangia, the mini fits in there. Great. But if you try to do it with something like this is the knockoff of the Evernew titanium stove, but they're both about the same size. I don't want to get it out of the box. This, unfortunately, doesn't have the nice flat edge on it like this does. So when you try to put it in something like this, it falls through. We can work around that, but just to let you know that it, it doesn't fit. Now, the one thing with this, they come, it comes with a instruction sheet showing you how to put this together. This is kind of like what I call a uh, monkey test. Uh, the way that they show you to put it together is to put all three sides together like so. Now there are three pieces that are the same piece just like that. Then you take your ring and you try to insert it in here. Oh, when I do that of course it falls apart. So to make a complete fool out of myself, I'll try to put it together here. It can be done, and probably after you practiced it a whole lot of times, it works a little bit easier. You put this ring in the slots, hold that together, take the third side, insert it in there. Now again, this is just me. This isn't a bad thing to this stove. I'm sure when you've used this a lot it's easy to work. So you just kind of force it in there like so. Oops. Come on. There we go. And there's the pot stand. Now the pot stand, just the pot stand in the bag weighs about 4.1 ounces or about 11 116.6 uh, grams. So not real heavy. That doesn't include your burner. So what I'll do now is I'll do a quick test here. I think I'll use this Trangia. I'll get my alcohol prepped. I'll get some water prepped. And I'll be back for a quick test. Okay, so I've got my water to temperature two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. I just have some methanol in this Trangia. Not measuring it because I'm not doing a run out, just doing a time to boil test. 
like that. And I'm back to my old setup here instead of having the timer over near the burner because there isn't much to see with this uh, kind of a holder. Okay, it's out of blossom now. So two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees, and let's see how long this takes to boil. We're now at two minutes. The temperature is up to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. I think it, you can see it's a pretty nice flame pattern. Of course, that's from the Trangia. Now, the one thing with this, the distance from the jets, which are about here, to the bottom of the pot on this one is, what did I figure, one and a quarter inches. That's a little bit, that's a quarter inch longer than the one inch sweet spot that we seem to keep seeing and stuff. So it's a little tall between the jets to the bottom of the pot. But it seems to be heating up all right. So let's see how long it does take for this to get to a boil. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 in 4 minutes 58 seconds. Huh. Much faster than I thought it would be. Okay, let me just get this off of here. Okay, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a boil in 4 minutes 58 seconds. When I did the last test using the click stand, looks like this got two cups of water starting at 60 degrees to a boil in 6 minutes 38 seconds. So this is a bit faster. Okay, a couple of things here. Um, these tabs, the pot stand tab here, let's see it, we're getting red hot from the flames coming up and out there. The stand itself also did a couple of pops where it, I guess this hasn't been used before and uh, the heat was making it flex and stuff. I thought maybe the thing might fall out, but it stayed all in place. So pretty cool. Uh, this also has a cut on the bottom for using one of those Trangia burners, the remote feed burners. Unfortunately, I don't think this will work on that modification that I made on the the Allox, you know, where I put that feed port on the bottom. This is something I learned from Wall Hiker, but I haven't been able I haven't made a pipe that'll take a short turn here. So this isn't tall enough for this to clear, but they do have a burner for that. Okay, so I'm kind of impressed with that. I just have to learn how to put the thing together easier. Okay, so I guess that's it. So that's the Trangia Triangle. Try saying that fast three times. But the tri yeah, Trangia Triangle versus the uh, Clip Stand, Click Stand, and the Espit. This can also be modified very easily for you to use Espit in this real easy. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.